how to create animated flaming text in DaVinci Resolve 18.0.1. Inside your project edit window, go to effects, underneath toolbox, select effects, and go to drag a fusion composition filter to your edits timeline. Select this new edit, hold in control or command if you're a Mac user and press D to alter the duration of this edit as you wish depending on how long you wish for the flaming text to last for on screen. After you've set the duration, right click on your new edit and go to open in Fusion page. Inside your Fusion nodes panel, hold in shift and press space and use the search box at the bottom to find the text plus node. Select this and go to click on add. Select either the left or right view option underneath this new node to see a preview of your effect above the Fusion timeline. With this new node selected, go to Inspector and underneath the text, type in the message that you wish to apply a flaming effect to. I will maintain the font as Open Sans with a bold style and white colour. For this particular message, I will increase the size here to 0.45. Then go to Shading, underneath Properties, select Text Outline maintaining a thickness of 0.02. Back in your node section, hold in shift and press space again, and go to add a p-emitter tool. We will use this new node to create the flame effects that will spawn from the text that we previously created. With p-emitter selected under inspector and region, change the region from sphere to bitmap. You can now connect your text node to the yellow arrow alongside p-emitter 1 to make a connection and to use the text message as the particle source. In order to have the flame particles processed by DaVinci Resolve, ensure that you have p-emitter selected still, hold and shift and press space, and go to add p-render, which should be automatically connected via the yellow input arrow to p-emitter 1. Click on the grey box alongside p-render 1 and drag to the input yellow arrow alongside media out 1 to apply a particle effect to your final video. Select either the left or right view option underneath Media Out 1 to see a preview of your final text effect as we are editing. If you select a frame around the middle of your Fusion timeline, such as frame 60 here for example, you should be able to see the particle effect appearing on screen. In order to increase the amount of particles emitting from your text, select P Emitter 1 again, and under Inspector, return to Controls, and increase number to 7000, which will increase the number of particles that will make up the flame for our final effect. In order to ensure that the flame doesn't stretch too far beyond our text, we need to reduce the particle lifespan. Here in this example, I will decrease this value from 100 to 9. And to add a slight variation to how far each of the flame lines stretch from the text, I will increment lifespan variance to 0.1. To alter the speed in which the particles flow from the text origin, select the Velocity section, increase velocity slightly to 0.025, and to apply a gentle fade effect to the fire particles as they reach their highest point and the end of their lifespan, select Style, go to Fade Controls, and decrease Fade Out to 0.9, so that the particles spend the final tenth of their lifespan fading away without disappearing abruptly from screen and therefore spoiling the illusion of a fire. What we now need to do is to control the direction in which the particles flow. With P emitter selected, hold in shift and press space again and go to add a P directional force node. For the inspector properties of this new node, we will go to controls and half the strength of the directional force to 0.05 to ensure that the flaming particles stay closer together I wish for the direction of the fire to point towards the top right corner of my screen and therefore I will change the direction here to 75. With P Directional Force still selected, hold in Shift and press Space again and go to add P Turbulence. To create a simulation of gentle wind which will alter the path in which the particles flow, we will apply strengths to each of the dimensions applied in this turbulence effect. But to ensure that the particles stay closely together so that we don't spoil the flame shape, we will half each of these values for X, Y and Z strengths to 0.05. At present the particle forms are too grainy, 
in order to add a blur effect and to merge these together more in order to create our flame shape. First select P render 1, hold in shift and press space, and go to add a Gaussian blur node. Under inspector for this new node, reduce the strength to 0.32 to avoid creating too much of a blur. Now to apply the flame colours to our text. With Gaussian Blur still selected, hold in Shift and press Space again, and go to add a Merge tool, which should be automatically connected via the yellow background arrow, so that we can apply the flame colour to the foreground. Deselect your nodes by clicking anywhere on the blank nodes grid, hold in Shift and press Space once again. Use the Select Tool window to add a Fast Noise tool. Select the left or right view option underneath Fast Noise to preview this new flame effect. And under Inspector, change detail under the noise properties to 10 to increase the amount of contrasting colour sections that appear on your new flame effect. To reduce the difference between these shades, so that the red and yellow shades that we will eventually apply blend in better together, reduce contrast to 0.3. Select Colour. For this particular flame effect, the presence of red should be greater than that of yellow. Using the two colour type option here, both colours will have equal presence on the canvas. Therefore, we will change the type to gradient and ensure that the node representing the first colour in our gradient is selected. Underneath the colour bar, double click on the colour box itself and choose a vibrant red basic colour preset option from the colour window which appears. If you don't have this available, the code is hash FF0000. Click OK. And to increase the amount of red on screen, increase the gradient value for red to 0.3. Now select the second colour node on the gradient bar, double click on the colour box, and choose the vibrant yellow option in the basic colour preset menu. The colour code will be hash FFFF00. Click OK. And to increase the two colour mixture more on screen, return to the noise properties, increment scale to 20, which will also create a smaller mixture pattern suitable for the text on screen, and enabling flames to be distinguishable on the thin text outlines. To add a smooth animation effect to your flames, increase seeth rate to 0.3. To intensify your flame slightly, with fast noise 1 selected, hold in shift and press space, and go to add a glow tool with GLO in parentheses. Go to preview the glow node, connect glow 1 to the foreground section of merge 1. To enhance the brightness of the yellow sections in particular, increment glow to 0.91. And to have the flame texture blend in with the particles that we previously created, select merge 1, select left or right view preview underneath media out 1. Under Inspector and Merge, change Operator from Over to In to apply the flame texture to your particles. At present, your text effect will appear quite blurry. In order to resolve this issue, with Merge 1 selected, we will hold in Shift and press Space once more to add a Sharpen node. To reduce the blur of your text, under Controls, increment Amount from 1 to 10. Thank you very much for watching, I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Join me soon for another video, take care.